Yeah, and what I find most fascinating about our, our simulation offering is, is the, the, de the breadth that we have uh, to bring you know, everything, like you mentioned, from just figuring out, is it strong enough? Um, when I apply motion to it, is it still strong enough? When it, will it break? If it'll break, when will it break? Sure. You know, if I drop my cell phone, is, 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 it, going, is it going to shatter the front case or something like that? So um, I, I think it's fascinating that, that we have the, uh, um, uh, the, the breadth of, of solutions to offer there. You know, you mentioned things like, uh, like, like kinematics and um, linear analysis and, and nonlinear and um, Joule's heating and multi-physics and all those sure. types of things. What do those mean for people who have never heard those terms before? So, so really it's about thinking, you know, these are all very technical terms, engineering terms. Some of the terms are even terms that are very specific to simulation or even more specifically to performing finite element analysis. You know, these are all phrases that sometimes just scare people away. Yeah, exactly. But, but ultimately what it is, it's about thinking about your product. Think about the environment in which your product's going to be used and what types of things affect your product. Mm -hmm. So if you know that your product is something that is going to have certain weight sitting on it, maybe it's a chair. You know, we're both sitting on chairs right now and there's we're a certain amount of weight too, on our chairs. So person that designs a chair, they need to go in and consider that type of weight. So that's a static stress simulation. So, so one of the things is to, is to, that we're really trying to emphasize is to, for those people that maybe quite haven't embraced simulation yet, is to talk to those people differently. Get them to understand what is it you're trying to accomplish? What is it you're trying to study? Yep. And then we can show you how that relates to specific types of simulation, like yeah. sitting on a chair, or air flowing through a pipe, or water, uh, air, air flowing through a computer. You know, all of us have our computers, our laptops, and you hear the little fan buzzing. Mm -hmm. Being able to know that the reason why that is is because it's trying to move air around and cool the heat, get rid of as much of the heat as it can because heat damages electronic circuits. So as you're designing these things, you need to get that heat out of the way. So it's really focusing in on what is it that you need to study, what are the things that could damage or cause your product to not behave the way it is, and then associating that with the type of simulation. And, and those types of things are things that we have tools that let you study.